Let's play FTB University 1.16 series episode 61. So, did quite a bit. Finally filled up the induction uh, matrix. So I added an extra layer, and um, oddly enough, I only um, only put the first tier of basic induction cells, mainly because. Eh, it's pretty expensive and I was losing a lot of gold. I went from having 1,400 gold down to about 900, and that's, that's quite a bit. So I only put one advanced induction, uh, induction cell in there, but I have about 118.40 GFE. I think it means Jillian, but it is slowly produce, it is slowly storing up energy as we speak, because the input is 921.60 KFP, because I did add an advanced, um, advanced, uh, what is it called? Uh, advanced induction provider to bring out more, and the output's around 911.30, so it's producing a little bit more energy than it is taking out, so that's quite nice. And I like how there, how you have an input and an output, that way it's not, you don't have to do both. So I'm at 4.73 GFB, and now I finally have... Yes, that is really loud. Hold on a second, that is really loud. Let's lower that a little bit better. Hold on. Smith River Blocks. Let's do that. Much better. So this is actually finally producing energy, and I pretty much have a near infinite amount of energy coming from this and also getting a lot of plutonium out of this as well so well in this episode i think i'm gonna officially start working on getting the armor pieces made up and everything so first things first we're gonna need actually armor pieces from tinker's construct we're going to need some chain, which is just iron ingots and uh, nuggets, which is way, way easier than making the induction providers and uh, the induction cells. And this is how I made it, by the way. So let's work. start working on that. Let's see if I have... No, I do not. Okay. I'll grab a couple stacks here. Is that iron nuggets? Okay, cool. So we'll make quite a bit here. Because I know we're, we're going to need some. There, I got about 22 chains, and then we're going to need three cobalt ingots, which actually, that will be pretty easy to make. I don't know if I have the ingot, ing, ingot, ingot, ingot casing made yet, but I'm going to figure that out right now. Let's see, da, 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 what's parts chest, there we go, and there's the repair. Okay, so I do not have one. Not, not, it's not hard to make. I'm just gonna do that, and now we have an ingot gold casing, so we can actually put this right here, and then move the cobalt down. You know, it took me forever to figure out that I could just move that instead of emptying out the entire um, smeltery. So need quite a bit of this. Actually, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I wonder. Could I just break a block down? I think I can. So instead, I'm just going to do that. It'll be easier to do. Just going to have to wait for that to cool down. Doesn't take long at all, actually. There we go. So I could take take this whole block here and make nine. So do it one more time. While that's doing that, let's make the plate helmet. All right, made the first one item, the plate chest plate, the leggings, and the boots. And I need about four more ingots, but that's not a problem. And there we go. 
All right, cool. I now have reached the goal of plate armor. I should have that quest completed. Let's see, Tinker's Construct. Um, yes. Now I gotta make slime armor, which I'm gonna take some Ender slime, which we don't, I don't have much uh, Ender products at all, so we're not gonna be worried about that at the moment. But you can, I think you can definitely modify these pieces of armor in the not crafting station. Let's see, parts builder, anvil. So we can just put this in here and possibly put like modifiers and whatnot. So you have like one ability, so that's actually really cool. But we need to figure out how to modify it, of course. And da, 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 da. let's try to make the let's see book about the hunting. Uh, I think I have books uh, and I think I think always. Oh, well, you need a little bit of seared stone and a book, huh? That's actually pretty neat how you make that. Let's see if I have any more seared stone. This might be what I need. I'm not entirely certain. Seared. Seared brick should be fine. Should be anyways. And then... Book. Do I have at least one book? Do I not have any books? I know I have books around here somewhere. Unless they're in one of the oak drawers. I have so many items in oak drawers. I have yet to play with applied energistics. I hope you're all proud of me for that. Because it's, it's taking me everything in my power not to use applied energistics. I will have to do it in the future though for sure, but I guess I don't have any books. Hold on, maybe there's some in the chest. I could have swore there was some in the chest somewhere. There we go. What a thought. Alright. Take that, and then uh, put a book down. And then put some... Yes, cool. It is smelting. Good. <laughs> Pretty excited about that. Alright. Here we go, and let's see here, seared stone, we put that there, and then, here we go, cool. I now have the Mighty Smelting Book. This should help with making defense and modifications. So blast protection, gold reinforcement, melee protection, dragonborn, Needs dragon scale. Oh my. Okay. Knockback resistance, jewel apples, put a throwback. Huh. So there is a bunch of like modifiers you can use. I won't be able to do any, but I now have the power to. This is a boom. Uh, okay. But let's see how much defense I get here if I take all this off. And is it as good as eh, diamond armor? Not so much, but certainly uh, more protection than I have been getting lately. So that's not too, too bad. But uh, I think I'm actually going to end this episode right now. It's heading into the 10 minute mark. So thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, Probably in the next episode, I will figure out what kind of modifiers I want for my armor, and we'll head on out to there, and we'll try to complete the, the Tinker's Construct tree over time, since I got my induction matrix. Sorry for mixing that up, but I really, really wanted to get that done. So anyways, I, I upload videos every Friday. I also live stream on Wednesdays and Thursdays, Thursdays from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. So I hope to see you there and like chat it up and whatnot. I play a lot of Fortnite and whatnot, so it's super fun. So... Anyways, you guys stay safe.